after watching this video, you will understand exactly what to do to burn body fat and get lean. And I want to start by showing you four pictures. Here is a picture of myself at 180 pounds. Here is a picture of myself at 175 pounds. Here is another picture of myself at 170 pounds. And finally, here is a picture of myself at 165 pounds. I wanted to show you these different weights so you can see that you can be lean at many different weights if you get your body fat percentage low enough. However, I want you to understand to be effective on the field, you don't want to be huge. You don't want to be big, heavy, and slow. You want to be strong. You want to have lots of muscle, but you want to be as light as possible. With that in mind, how do you get lean? It's simple. Consume fewer calories than your body burns. That is it. Don't make it any more complex than that. Eat fewer calories than your body burns. You don't even have to run or work out. Follow this principle and your body will burn fat naturally until you get down to your ideal weight. Yes, cardio and strength training can help you burn calories, which will help you burn fat, but the amount of calories you burn from strength training and exercise isn't as important as the amount of calories you eat. You will have to run about one hour to burn 400 calories, which you could consume back instantly in 30 seconds by eating two cookies. Therefore, consumption, what you eat, is king when it comes to getting lean. Strength training is helpful because the more muscle you have on your body, the more calories your body burns naturally, your body burns calories by just existing, just by living, breathing, living your life, digesting food, even sleeping burns calories. The rate at which your body burns those calories is called your BMR, your basal metabolic rate. This is the number of calories your bur body burns every day naturally without exercise. It's a good idea to know what this number is. You can quickly find it out by searching on Google. Just search for BMR calculator and it'll come up. You'll put in your weight, your height, and a couple other things, and it will come out with a number. If you consume more calories than your BMR, that number that comes up, you will gain fat. If you consume fewer calories than your BMR, you will burn fat. That's it. That's all there is to it. Now, if you do exercise that day, then you'll probably be able to consume more calories and still not gain fat. However, you wanna know this number and you wanna base your eating around this number if your goal is to get lean, to get ripped, and to get your abs showing. People are always saying, I've tried everything to lose weight, but I just can't. Look, you don't have to try everything. You don't have to try a thousand different things to lose weight. You only have to do one thing, consume fewer calories then your body burns. Getting lean, building muscle, changing your body, it all starts and ends with nutrition. It's the most important piece. And if you wanna get lean, you have to restrict your calories. If you eat too many calories, you won't lose fat. That's just the simple truth. So I just wanna show you guys a few things that are in my fridge, in my kitchen, and give you some ideas. Number one, water. This is really the only drink that I drink. It's the only drink that you really need. And I drink filtered water with, this is like a zero water filter or something, and you can taste the difference. It's really good. So if you're drinking soda, if you're drinking juices from concentrate, these are all calories. You have to think that those are calories. If you're just drinking water, this is zero calories. So you can drink that all day and you won't be adding any fat to your body. I'm not saying you can't drink pop. I'm not saying you can not drink juice. If you do drink juice, try to drink something that is actually real fruit and real vegetables, real ingredients, not stuff from concentrate. But like I'm going to explain at the end here, guys, you can eat whatever you want as long as you stay under your basal metabolic rate. So if I can only eat 2,000 calories a day, well, I can eat 
chips and cookies and pretzels and whatever you want and breads. You can eat all that stuff, but you have to realize that these are very high in calories and low in nutrients. So you're gonna go over your calories very quickly as opposed to eating fruits, vegetables, and real food. Okay, so I'm not saying you can't eat bad food. You can eat whatever you want, but if your goal is to get lean and to lose body fat, then you need to stay under your basal metabolic rate. So just give you a few ideas, like I said, water, healthy juices, lots of green stuff, kale, lettuce, romaine, broccoli, uh, I use lots of parsley, cilantro, carrots, cauliflower, celery, more celery, cucumbers, and some of this stuff is my wife's, some of this is mine, but if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that I have gone vegan. So I'm mainly fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds, a bit of beans, that type of thing. Some coconut milk in there. But you don't have to eat exactly what I eat. You can eat whatever you want. But if your goal is to burn fat, to get lean, then you have to stay under your BMR. Some more stuff in here. Fruits, melon, apples, oranges, onions, lots of garlic in my diet. And then uh, nuts and seeds back here. Some dried fruits as well. I eat lots of raisins, cranberries, dates, that sort of thing. I also, I do take a lot of vitamins, not drugs, not supplements. These are vitamins that are found in food, but I'm just getting more of them into my diet. So. You don't need to be taking this stuff. This is just something that I do, but vitamins are good for you. If you're interested, do your own research and decide what you should be eating. So like I said, guys, you can still eat all these things if you wanna fit these in your diet. Don't feel like you aren't allowed to eat the foods that you want and the foods that you enjoy. You can, but if your goal, as we said, is to stay lean, some bananas and frozen fruits and stuff, frozen veg, if your goal is to stay lean, then you need to stay under your basal metabolic rate. Whenever I do videos like this, people are always asking me, how do I stay disciplined when it comes to my nutrition? How do I get myself to eat this rather than this? And the truth is the only reason you keep eating this, even when you know you shouldn't, and remember, you can eat this, but maybe you can't eat five of them, you can only eat one of them. The only reason you do keep eating them when you know you shouldn't, is because you want to eat this cookie more than you want to be lean. You want to eat this cookie more than you want to have a six pack. You want to eat this cookie more than you want to achieve your fitness goals. And that's the truth. Okay, so when your dreams become bigger than your excuses or your temptations, and you can rationalize that in your mind, then you're gonna start eating this and you'll be happy to eat this. Now you can make this taste good guys. I don't want you to think that green stuff tastes bad. Throw some olive oil on it, do whatever you want. But realize that this is taking you closer to where you wanna be. This is taking you farther away. What if you don't want to count calories? Don't, I don't count calories. Personally, the idea of counting every single calorie of every piece of food you eat and adding it up at the end of the day drives me crazy. It's not something I want to spend my life doing, so I don't do it. Instead, I use indicators. So this is my physique at the moment. I haven't worked out in over a month. I haven't been to the gym. I haven't even lifted a weight at home. I haven't even played any soccer because of this quad injury that I've had. But as you can see, I'm still extremely lean. In fact, I'm the leanest that I've ever been. And if you look here and I try to pinch the fat, there's like nothing there. Okay, so this is a good indication. If you're trying to lean out, do this every day. And if you're going in the right direction, you should have less and less fat when you pinch, especially around your lower abdomen. Okay, but another thing that I do Every morning, if I'm trying to get a good indication, if I'm going in the right direction, is I'll come first thing in the morning, I'll go to the bathroom, then I'll stand on this scale, and I'll see how much I weigh. And again, guys, weight isn't 
what's most important. This number on the scale isn't what's most important. What's most important is how you feel. However, this is still a good indicator if you're going in the right direction. So 164.5, and actually when I did this this morning, I was about 163.5, just because I drank a bit of water and I am holding this camera, adds a little bit of weight. But I want you guys to get around the mentality that you don't wanna be massive, you don't wanna be huge. You want to be lean, you want to be light, and you wanna have a lot of muscle and a lot of strength on a small frame. So you want to get lean, lose fat, get your abs showing, become lighter while still building muscle and becoming stronger. Here's what I want you to do. Number one, follow the golden rule and consume fewer calories than your body burns. Number two, eat mainly foods that are low calorie and high nutrient like vegetables and fruits. These foods give your body the nutrients it needs, which makes it feel full. You can also eat lots of them, which will satisfy your desire to eat. And they don't take up all your calories. When you eat foods that are high calorie and low nutrient, for example, a bag of chips, they don't give your body the nutrients it needs, so you keep desiring to eat more and more. They also take up all your calories and probably push you over on your calories. Number three, do strength training three times a week. Yes, you want to put muscle onto your body because this will increase your BMR, which will allow you to burn more calories naturally. Strength training, you wanna do three times a week. You wanna get at least a day of rest in between so you can come back stronger in the next workout. Number four, just play soccer. You're doing this anyway, and this is really all the cardio you need. Some of you are asking for gym workouts. I'll do this in another video in the future about how to gain strength, build muscle, and work out in the gym. I'm just getting over my injury right now, but I'll be getting back in the gym and show you how to build real muscle real fast. But let me start by killing this myth that if you're a kid or you're 14, you shouldn't lift weights. It will stunt your growth. I don't know where this started. I think it's basically from other 14 year olds who are too lazy or too scared to go to the gym. So they started spreading this rumor. It's not true. I started working out when I was 12 and I'm 6'1 today. I'm the tallest person in my family. So obviously I didn't stunt my growth. Now here's an example of what to do in the gym. Don't waste your time trying to do every machine in the gym. Just pick three or four exercises and do them really well. Get the most out of them. If you want to gain muscle, you must gain strength. Muscle is a product of strength. The stronger you become, the more muscle you will have. When you go to the gym, don't do the same thing you did last time. You must challenge yourself to do more. If you do the same, your body will stay the same. Every time you go to the gym, your goal is to do a little more than you did last time, even if that's just one more pound. It's about progression. The real reason most people go to the gym and they keep working out but they never change their body is because they've been doing the same workout with the same amount of weight for the last five years. Do not do that. This is what I'll usually do. I'll usually do about five sets and I'll start with one warm-up set at a lighter weight. Then I'll wait about two minutes and I'll go into three heavy working sets. I'm aiming for about six reps at a weight that is really difficult, more than I did last week. I'm trying to push it and I want that sixth rep to be extremely difficult, but I managed to get the bar up. I'll wait two minutes between each heavy set to get my strength back and I'll go again. If you only get four or five reps, that's fine. Now you have something to aim for next time. Then after my last heavy set, I'll immediately go into a drop set and this is more for bodybuilding, but I'll put on a lighter weight and I'll go for about 15. If I have to, I'll go for more reps just to get a really good pump and burn out my muscles. That's not necessary for strength, but it is something you can do to build your physique and also build your muscle. If you are at home, you can still build muscle and get lean. Here's another example. Instead here, you're doing three sets of 30 reps. Do two minutes of rest between each set. If it gets too easy, you can do less rep, rest between each set. If the reps, the 30 reps become too easy, you have to do something to increase your strength and make it more difficult. Remember, if you're doing what is easy or what you've done before, you're just going to stay the same. So focus on going slower or just being really precise with your technique, increasing your range of motion, or adding a bit of weight by holding a dumbbell or filling a backpack with some books or something like that. But what if I'm already lean and I want to get bigger? Do exactly what I've suggested up to this point. Lift for strength gains, become stronger. 
the more you lift, the stronger you'll become, the more you'll build muscle, the bigger you will be coming. If you are honestly working out properly and you're not getting bigger with your current diet, consume more protein. If you want to build muscle and stay lean, consume more protein, but stay under your BMR. If you want to bulk up, you want to get a bit thicker, get some more meat on your bones, and you're okay with getting a little bit of fat on your body, consume more protein and consume more calories than your BMR. Most importantly, be persistent. Getting lean and bulking up doesn't happen overnight. The reason most people fail to achieve their fitness goals, whatever they may be, is because they give up before it happens. This takes time. If you follow the principles and stay consistent, it will happen. What about protein? How much protein should I be eating? Personally, I'm starting to think that this protein thing is a bit of a scam. Yes, you need protein to maintain and gain muscle, but I don't think you need as much as people say. Now, this is just my philosophy. You can think and do whatever you want, but at least hear me out. Think about it. Protein companies want you to eat more protein powder so you'll buy more protein. The food industry wants you to eat more meat so you'll buy more meat. So they will recommend that your daily dosages should be higher. The reason I'm saying this is because I have built muscle eating lots of meat protein, drinking three protein shakes a day. I've built muscle doing that. I've also built muscle eating no meat, drinking no protein shakes, and basically cutting my protein intake in half. This is what I did when I went raw vegan, which I currently am now. However, this is just my opinion. If you are not getting the muscle gains that you want and you are training properly, you can try adding more protein to your diet and monitoring your results. What about counting macronutrients? Like counting calories, I don't want to do it, so I don't do it. I eat protein, carbohydrates, and healthy fats every day. As long as you're aware of getting those into your diet, I think you'll be okay. If you want to learn about how to count macros, just search on YouTube. There's tons of videos out there from different bodybuilding channels. What about that lower belly fat? If you're lean everywhere else on your body, but you can't seem to lose that weight around your lower belly, keep going. The reason lower belly fat is the hardest to lose is because it's the last place to go. That's where most of your fat collects. It's in your lower belly and in your butt. It takes time and persistence, but if you keep burning fat, eventually you'll start to notice the results. What about doing ab exercises? Ab exercises will make your abs bigger, so they'll be more defined, but only if you have a low body fat percentage. So if you're doing ab exercises with the intention of burning fat, getting lean, that's not going to help. You need to get down to a lower body fat percentage first and then your abs will show. If you still don't like the way your abs look at that point, then you can start adding ab exercises. Please like this video before you leave. If you have any other questions on this topic, comment below, share this video with anyone you know who wants to get lean and expect another video from me in the future specifically about how to get stronger and build muscle. As I get over this injury and I get back into the gym, I'm going to work to become as strong as possible, put as much muscle on my frame while still staying light and agile so I can be effective on the field. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys real soon.